Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna talk about a ton of stuff going on. So Steve Jackson Games is gonna be at PAX East. We have FNORDCon coming up. I know that we have some people down at Gamma right now, which is exciting. I wish I could have gone to Gamma. That would have been awesome. Yeah, I also wish I could have gone to Gamma, Derek. Like it's, I, I chose Dice Tower West cause I've never been to a Dice Tower and I, I wanted to go to Gamma too, so. <laughs> but you can only go to so many conventions, right? Like, you only have so much time to do so many things. We're also gonna be taking a look at the Munchkin Shakespeare Deluxe copy here. Now, this was an interesting one because this was more like Kickstarter backer led, which was really interesting. They had this idea of doing the Shakespeare thing. They're like, all right, well, we, we're presenting it to the community seeing how it goes and it blew up on Kickstarter. So they have a lot of really fun stuff for this. I'm excited to open it. I actually had not back to the Kickstarter because at the time I did not have the funds to do so because I backed so many Kickstarters, but this will be a fun one to open. And of course you guys make sure to leave comments. I'm here to answer questions, talk about things that are coming up, anything you guys wanna talk about here. So let's take this down to the table get this stuff here out of the way. And I do have my trusty utensil here to get this open. What else is going on, guys? I, it, we're entering convention season now, and it's just going to get crazy. It's going to get so crazy. This month alone, let's see here, if, if I had gone to every convention that I was invited to this month, it would have been like four different conventions, you know? Because we had the Dice Tower West, we have PAX East, we have Emerald City Con, we have Arizona Game Fair. There was just a ton of convention stuff going on this month. But it's nice because it's like spring and everybody loves spring, right? <laughs> All right, Munchkin Shakespeare, the deluxe edition. Now, I really enjoy the deluxe editions of this. <laughs> Nice, Eric. Ah, last poor Spike. We knew him well. Oh, what's this? Oh, would you look at that? Oh, we also have my lovely cat. I'm sorry. I apologize, guys. You guys are going to see a lot of cat up here, too. We have a friendship potion, and this is from the Munchkin Panic. This is actually a treasure card here. And that was inside. That's kind of fun. Let's see here, like their little booklet on what's going on. I'm gonna put that under here so you can see it. Hopefully it's the right way. There we go. That's really cute. Yeah, you know what? I usually try to lock up the cat and when I don't, she thinks she's a diva and she has to get on. Like she has to be on here to show her cat butt to all of you. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, so we have the rules here. Let's take a quick look and see if there's anything crazy or different going on with that there. What do we got here? Runaway curses, death, treasures, do 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 all the regular stuff thus far. I'm not seeing anything super specific. Sometimes they do have certain things like little cogs you have to watch for and stuff like that with some of them. And yes, if you guys have any questions about anything, please let me know. You know, I'm here to answer questions. Ooh, look at that board. Oh, that's fantastic. Hopefully you guys can see all the detail on this. So they actually have all of the written words here and they kind of fade out as they go on the board here. Oh, I really like that board. That's nice, that's super nice. All right, we'll throw those over there and we'll let, take a look at the tokens as well. So I don't know if you guys have heard about FNORDCon. <laughs> you support the cat's efforts as a diva. Well, I think that all cats are divas overall, but mine's just more so of one. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these tokens. We have the male and the female version of these, which is nice. We'll put the blue one under, so hopefully you'll be able to see them. It's like a little witch. I have, you know, I've seen some of the Shakespeare plays, but not all of them. I'm not sure what the witch is from. What's the witch from, guys? Who knows all about Shakespeare? Where are my Shakespeare people at? All right, and what else do we have here? We have our cards. 
And of course, there's standees right there, okay? And, ooh, let's take a look at the die. Super excited about this die. Ooh, I really like this, guys. Okay, so the die on this here is like a sort of like brown, brownish orange color, but it's sparkly. This is a sparkly dice, guys. I'm down with that, Ugh, like a thousand percent. But you're just not going to be able to see the sparkles in this. It's like a clear sparkle dice. It looks so freaking cool. All right. There's the dice on that. So a great release. They mix it. We mix it with Legends. Ooh, Eric, I did not think of that. Legends would be an excellent one to mix this with. Super fantastic. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, George, we end up having where... So I used to have it where all of the comments would show up on our chat on the screen, but Facebook got all weird about everything, and they were like, no, we will not join in on your commentary and your fun. And then they just shut us down. So no more <laughs> no more Facebook comments on the YouTube on the uh, YouTube area or like Twitch or anything like that. Like they don't combine them all anymore. So we actually have more people sitting on Facebook right now. So apologies. But you guys can all talk back and forth and sometimes if you don't see the comments come up and who I'm talking to is probably because I'm it's on the other platform with that, okay? So let's take a look at the cards here. What do we what do we want to go through first, guys? Do we want to go through treasures or doors on this? They have the standard back. You know, I really dig the Legends idea, though. I think Legends is probably just about the perfect set to combine with this. I'm always interested in combining the sets. If if, I, if nobody tells me where they want to go first, I'm gonna go wherever I want, guys. Separate the cards. I'm going to go for doors. We're going to go for doors. Doors are popular. Popular. Didn't Hamlet have witches? <gasps> oh, okay. Now I'm remembering. It's like where the whole uh, boil, troil, oh gosh. I think I think you're right, Eric. Was it Hamlet that had the witches in it? That that's where the famous scene from like all the cauldrons comes from, right? Where they're all sitting at the cauldrons, the th cauldron, the three witches and stuff, right? Unless I'm mistaken. All right, let's take a look at these cards. We have yes, doors, doors. We gotta do the doors. <laughs> Everybody's always so interested to see what sort of monsters are in here. Okay. So we have call monsters from the vast deep. Play during any combat. Each player starting with one who played the card may add a single monster to the fight. That's messed up. Oh my goodness. We got some cheats. <laughs> this is a good one. Curse bite your thumb. Which is like some profane thing in like England, right? Or maybe it's French. Hello, everybody just coming in. Let's see here. We have Curse Blank Verse. Break your leg. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> curse Forsooth. Your maximum hand size for charity purposes is four cards. Well, that's terrible, too. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of curses and stuff in this. <laughs> that's right. You need to break up your study session, man. You need to get out and relax a little bit, too, right? Had ghosts. Uh, guess. Oh, thanks, Eric. You're just guessing? Jeez. Jeez. We have Curse Murder So Foul with the little duck on it. Aww. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. We have Cur Offend a Fairy Queen. Oh, that put must be like the Midnight Summers one. I have seen like all the basic sort of Shakespearean plays where, you know, of course, Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. And uh, what was the other one I saw? M much Ado About Nothing, I think, and stuff. But I have not seen all of them, guys. So you're going to have to give me some knowledge here. But there's a lot of curses in this. Like, a lot. I'm still going through curses, guys. Curse Sea Change. <laughs> Curse By Some Virtue Fall. Curse Toil and Trouble. Yeah, ha, ha. There we go. That's what I was talking about right here. Curse Toil and Trouble. That's where the witches come from. I knew they were in there somewhere with that. What else do we have? Still going through curses, upstaged. Dr. Glory Hog ups, tries to upstage me all the time. All the time. 
<laughs> That's my curse. <laughs> Winter of your discontent. Cursed be thou thy moves, my bones. We have, okay, so these, these lovely cards right here, curses, guys. It's a lot of curses, okay? It's a lot of cards. <laughs> we have some half-breed cards here. We have, yeah, I like the skull, man. I had, on the bottom of all of these cards have the little skull to notate that it's the Shakespearean set, which is fantastic. We have one, once more, unto the breach. Play this card when another player runs away from a monster. That monster stays in front of him, and he must fight it on his next turn instead of kicking open the door. Aw, that's so sad. <laughs> No, Dr. Glory Hog. That is not true. My favorite is not Romeo and Juliet. Oh, gosh. It was it was much ado about nothing. Um, that one was hilarious. And especially I watched the one with um, David Tennant in it. And, oh, that the really funny lady who played Donna. She was amazing in that. If you guys haven't seen that, like, you need to go see that. They were freaking hilarious in that one. We got some Super Munchkins cards. We got some Wandering Monster. We have Lean and Hungry, plus 10 to Monster. Mac, plus 5 to Monster. We got Merely a Player. <laughs> a negative 5 to Monster. He's just playing a monster, guys. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> we have Rump Fed. An Undead. We, okay, so... For the classes on this, we have Bard, which who has Enthrall on here. So in combat, on your turn, you may discard a card and select a rival. Each of you rolls a dice. If your roll beats his, he must help you, and you cannot ask for a reward. If you fail, you may discard again and try to enthrall another rival, continuing until you succeed. Give up or run out of cards or opponents. You may not win the game with this power. That's really interesting. Enthrall seems super powerful. Uh, yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch was, or what is it, Cucumber something patch? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Benedict Cumberbatch. He was excellent in Hamlet, guys. That's another one. Yeah, Cucumberbatch. Yeah, that's right. Benedict Cucumberbatch. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> we have Cleric, who has Resurrection. When it's time... For you to draw cards face up, you may instead take some or all from the top of the discard pile. And I'll actually, I'll put one of these bards under here. I'll try to find a non, oh no, I got, I got a bard under there. He's a little green though. It wouldn't be Shakespeare about curses. Eric, that's 100% true. You have to get cursed. It's like the opening of a Disney movie. Somebody's got to die before a movie can start, okay? <laughs> You want a live video of the game Illuminati, the game of conspiracy. Okay, so I would love to do a live thing on the Illuminati game, but there's a lot of crazy people out there all about the Illuminati. So I don't know if I would do something live, but I might may do something recorded on that, guys. So here's our cleric cards here. We have a thief who, of course, has backstabbing which is pretty much the same on that one. I really liked the bard card. They, uh, that's an enthrall portion is really exciting. Like, I'll be excited to play with that. Balderdash Cumberbund. Yes, <laughs> I will accept all of those <laughs> as his name. <laughs> all right, and we have a warrior class here. So you may discard up to three cards in combat. Each one is going to give you plus one on that. I really think, though, the bard was, like, the card to be. If you can go ahead and sway anybody to just help you in a fight, aside from the winning level, of course. Like, that's super powerful. We have a wizard. Okay, and then for your races, we got our dwarf class. We have our elf class here. We have a halfling class. And then let's get to our monsters. Yes, our, our lovely, lovely monsters here. <laughs> <laughs> we have Asp, a pound of flesh. That's not only disgusting, but <laughs> that's very odd. That, that was an odd card to ha probably have drawn <laughs> there for John. <laughs> we have Henry IV, Part 1, Henry IV, Part 2. <laughs> and with these, there actually halves of him, guys. That's fantastic. 
There we go. I bet you can, oh, too bad you can't add them together. I feel like you should be able to, like, add them together into one whole really powerful card where he becomes, like, a 22 or something, right? That should be a thing. Rosencrantz. He may join the Guildstern without a Wandering Monster card. We have a Merchant of Venison. We have a Black Friar. We have a Mortal Coil. <laughs> and the Mortal Coil has, like, little vampire teeth on him. He's freaking hilarious looking. It's like the old slinkies back in the day. We have Witches 3. No one may play one-shots to help the munchkins in this fight. That's because they're cursed all the time. They're going to see the future, and then when they do, it's going to be bad business. Okay? So we also have Nordcon coming up, guys. Here's a barred owl. It's on April 6th and 7th, I think. Or is it 5th, 6th? 5th and 6th. I'm going to have to look it up. We're going to talk about it a little later, though, because I'll be there. So you'll get to hang out and play games with me. Ooh, we have Hamlet. So, negative three against clerics, they don't approve of his swinish behavior. That's what I usually say to Dr. Clory Hog. Like, after every show, I'm like, I don't approve of your swinish behavior. Why is Dr. Glory Hog so bad? <laughs> we have level 10, not to bees, which are actual bees. To bees or not to bees. We have spirits from the vast deep, vasty deep. What else do we have here? Uh, the mortal coil shuffles along. <laughs> I didn't read that portion of it. That's fantastic. <laughs> it should shuffle along, you know? I think that, uh, what is it? Oh, kitty. We got, got our tickets already. Super excited. Well, I'm excited for you guys to be there. You guys all get to play games with us. I think we're having some issues maybe on Facebook. Apologies, guys. Hopefully you guys can catch us on YouTube or something, if you can still hear me. So we have the head that wears the crown. And I'm just going to check my stream here. We have Igo. We have Shylock. A Rayon. Stratford upon Avon Lady. Two Bs. Just a regular level one two Bs. That's to bees or not to bees up there, okay? <laughs> You're just drawn that way. Excellent. <laughs> the Ides of March. If you're playing on March 15th, you cannot run away. That's also unfortunate. That was like the Ides of March were big back in the day. You didn't want to be caught during that time. We have Brutus. We have two gentlemen of Bologna, dogs of war, the eater of broken meats. That's gross. King Lear. Here we go. We have Something Wicked. Ooh, the Something Wicked is very cute, too. We're going to put King Lear under here first. Do, do, do. And we have Something Wicked. If you guys are on Facebook, let me know if my stream is still coming through. Otherwise, you guys are probably going to have to end up watching it later because I don't know what's going on with that. We have the Destable Maw. Yeah, some of these I have not seen before, and now I'm going to have to, like, go back and, like, re-watch all the movies. All the movies. All of them. <laughs> Scary Wives of Windsor. The Twelfth Night. Sonnet the Hedgehog. That's hilarious. My kid loves Sonic. That's, like, the game for them, you know? T-Man of Athens. We have Caliban and a Dark Lady. This is our level 18. So we're going to go on our level 18 and our level 20 here, okay? Do, do, do. And for the Dark Lady, it's, neg it's plus 5 if it's dark outside. You may ask someone to check. And the bad stuff is you're dead. And, of course, Lady Macbeth, which is negative 3 against thieves, will not pursue female munchkins of level 4 or below. Always pursues males. That is rough. But it's Lady Macbeth. Wow. I really apologize for our intruder, guys. They're just going to hang out on me a little bit, though. That's fine. They're really, they're really into Shakespeare, right? <laughs> okay. So, on to the really good ones. Like, with the uh, equipment. The equipment. I love equipping myself with stuff. That's the best part, right? Well, at least that's the best part for me. I'm always more excited about giving myself 
bonuses and fighting things than I am about monsters. Like, I really love getting all decked out, okay? So we have Armor of Proof. We have Dialogue. Fall Staff. You can use it to trip the monsters. A plus one to run away. That's <laughs> fantastic. We're going to move those out of the way and put this one here. We have the Kingly Crown, which is a plus four on this one here. That's headgear. Bury Caesar. So if you also pray Caesar, go up a total of three levels. So you have to pray Caesar and then you bury him. You know, that's how that's how Caesar went, you know. Everybody loved him and then everybody hated him. That's like pretty much how every politician's career goes, right? All right. <laughs> All right, so. Let's get back here. They're just, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. They're just going to like look over my shoulder. How many diff different Munchkin versions are there? Well, well, Mayo. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. There's a whole bunch. I don't even know if I could remember, like, all of them to list to you. I can tell you my favorite ones, personally. I really like uh, the zombie set. I like the Pathfinder and Legend set. Of course, original Munchkin is amazing. Those are probably the ones that I personally play the most, but I know that they have, like, the Grim one, and now they have Warhammer 40,000, and if there's a theme that you personally like, there's a Munchkin for it. Like, and that's just how it is. Like, there's a Munchkin for pretty much any theme you can possibly think of. We have Get Thee to a Nunnery. nunnery. <laughs> that was one of, like, the best quotes that there was. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Yeah, the cat is mess. The cat's just being crazy, guys, and I apologize. Usually I have her locked up, but she's enthralled by what I'm doing right now. So get the two nunnery was, I believe that was in Hamlet, where he told, what was it, Ophelia? Like, she was just like, yeah, I'm not marrying you or anything like that. Like, just get yourself to a nunnery. You're good for no one. And it was, I'm going to have to look up the quote. It was the funniest freaking part of that I was like dang sick burns that's the best part of Shakespeare for me is like the super sick burns that happen in it but it's all done in <laughs> like this really beautiful fa sounding like you know <laughs> phrases and stuff it's freaking hilarious but get thee to a nunnery we have hire a tour tour door a pike fish there which is a plus four bonus. You have to have big hands for that one. A Shakespearean canon, full fathom five, break the fourth wall, where you're actually breaking a wall here. It was a super burn back then in the day. Get thee to a nunnery. <laughs> that means you weren't marriable. <laughs> it was super sad. If anybody said that to me, I mean, they'd, pr they'd probably have to get a smack or something like that. That was messed up. Dang, right? Then I don't feel like they have a sick of burn for guys. Where's the switch on that? The super sick Shakespearean burn for guys. If you guys know them, like leave them in the comments. I want to hear all the super sick, super sick Shakespearean burns for for men. I have around 25 base sets plus tons of expansions. I have to get the Warhammer 40k. The Warhammer 40k, I did a box opening for it, Eric, and it is amazing. The art in that is so vibrant and so colorful, and it's hilarious, especially if you love Warhammer, and it was like a pr passion project, I believe, for Andrew and both Andrew and John, because both of them play Warhammer 40k. So we have our outrageous fortune there. Praise Caesar. If you also bury Caesar, go up a total of three levels. Yay, praise Caesar. We have Tame the Shrew, which is actually a guy taming a shrew. <laughs> that's awesome. It has green on it, so it's not going to show up super great, but that's <laughs> fantastic. He's like a little lion tamer up there. Look at him. <laughs> First thing we do, let's kill all the rules lawyers. I agree with that, 100%. Don't give her sick burns, please. I'm fragile. <laughs> if I know all about 
the Shakespearean sick burns, that's all I'm going to use for people. When I'm gaming, if somebody beats me in a game, that's the quote you're going to get is a super awesome Shakespearean burn. I need to start doing that. That sounds like super awesome. Let's get some of these cards under here so you can see them. We have a good deed in a naughty world, which is after another player has suffered a curse from or bad stuff, they must actually suffer some bad effect. They go out, they go up a level, and so do you. Well, that's not too bad. You get to, you know, you get a curse, but you get to go up a level, right? You're really looking forward to it. Yeah, get thee to a monastery. <laughs> A plague on both your houses. That was a pretty righteous, like, burn, right? A plague on all your houses, right? I think so. Although that's more just like bad wishes against somebody, not necessarily like talking about someone's character and how terrible they are. The tartness of his face sours ripe grapes. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a pretty sick burn as well. I need more sick burns, guys. Shakespearean sick burns. They need a, a website for that. <laughs> double, double. Play during any combat, either for the munchkins or the monsters. Double the level of the chosen side. Fake your death. Play when you are losing combat before you roll to run away. The monsters assume you have succumbed to the plot convenience and move on. Discard them. So you have to, like, read it in, like, that Shakespearean sort of <laughs> way. Heaven truly knows thou art false as hell. <laughs> That's a pretty sick bird, too. <laughs> that means you're like, you're a really bad person, but nobody, only, like, what is it? Heaven truly knows. Nobody knows it, but you are just a really bad person. <laughs> I take thy heart. Love all, trust few. Measure for measure. A method in your madness. Play a card that would cause you to lose. I'm sorry. Play when a card would cause you to lose one or more levels. You can go up a level instead. That one's nice. Much ado about nothing. Play during any combat. Turns out the whole mess is, well, you know. The combat continues, but the monsters have no treasure at all. <laughs> See, that was an awesome movie. Like, just super fantastic. We have out damned spot, something rich and strange. Play this card immediately. Draw three more treasures. They are face up. If you drew this card face up, otherwise face down. Ooh, that's just draw treasure card. Google Shakespearean insult generator, and you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much, Eric Olson. That is getting favorited. Like, that's going to be my go-to for insults now. Steal the show. Steal the show. And he's running away with York's tomb. We have the Merchant of Venice. We have the Quality of Mercy. The Shadow of a Dream. What else do we have here? Yeah, the Shakespearean burns are the way to go in your gaming group. Basically, what happens is you burn them. And then, like, they have to think about it just for a minute because of, like, the wordplay and stuff like that. But it sounds amazing. That's the 100% way to go, especially if you're playing Munchkin Shakespeare. Like, I feel like that's a necessity for this game, right, guys? We have the first folio, some loaded dice. Ooh, I like the dice on that one. There's, like, a bunch of little skulls on it. We have the loaded die, which are a bunch of daggers for stabbing in the back. We have vows made in wine. All how all vows should be made is with wine. That's like 100% true. I mean, people do that all the time, right? <laughs> the wishing ring. You have wine, and then you just start making vows. That's how it happens. We have a rose by any other name. <laughs> we have a doublet, an eye of newt. So oh, hold on here. As the doublet... As armor, this has no bonus by itself, but it may be worn under another piece of armor, doubling its combat bonus. That's a freaking awesome card. I'm down with that one. And then you just can wear it with any of your, thi any of your stuff. 
Men from children, nothing differ. Wow. That's calling that's calling your somebody a child, a man baby. <laughs> or I guess, you know, I mean really anybody. It's just calling somebody a baby. Like stop acting like a baby. Men from children, nothing differ. It sounds so much cooler, right? I'm pulling out note cards in my phone <laughs> during playtime. <laughs> Toe of a frog. If you have your eye of a newt, you also need a toe of a frog. <laughs> yeah, the sick burns are fantastic. Liar, liar, pants on fire is not the same <laughs> as the Shakespearean insult. <laughs> yeah, it sounds better. Heaven truly know that thou art false as hell sounds better than liar, liar, pants on fire. 100%. We have a hireling, which, of course, you discard if you ever need to run away. You throw them under the bus. Always. <laughs> or I guess you stab them in the back with this one, right? Then we have Bear Bodkin, a toga. Aw, yellow cross garters. They're all the rave back in the day. There we go. We have a flame boo, a prop dagger. We have some arrows, bruskins. Hello. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. Oh, we have a monologue. When you only need one log, you have a monologue. And also, you can give a monologue with your log. Although he has a little green, like, skirt on. Trouser, trouser skirts. <laughs> There's a name for it. <laughs> oh, happy dagger. When you fail to run away from a monster whose bad stuff includes death, you may discard to avoid death. That was a good that was a good line from the plays as well. Oh, happy dagger. That was, I mean, it's sad, but it's a good line. Ruffled coif. We have slings. We have some footlights, which would be very burny. That would be painful, guys. I'm not wearing those. <laughs> <laughs> a rapier, a Shakespeare, like somebody literally shaking a spear here, which gives you a plus two bonus, maybe held with both hands and used as a plus five weapon. A kilt, thank you. <laughs> Out of my sight, thus thou infect my eyes. That is a rough one, too. Ugly. <laughs> That's, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Well, I mean, kind of. You could use it as, like, an ugly one. Or just, like, I don't want to see your face because, like, I hate you so much. Like, out of my sight doth thou infect my eyes. I never want to see you because you're such a horrible person. I mean, you went the ugly route, but I'm saying it's just the person overall. <laughs> like, they're just a terrible person. You don't want to be around them anymore. Either way, super six Shakespearean burn. Super sick, right? A tutu of solid flesh. So gross. We have patents, which is like some little shoes here. These are, if you are targeted of a curse, roll the die. On a six, you rise above it and ignore the effect. <laughs> we got that there. And we have some rich armor. Some pantaloons, which are like little ducks. Are there ducks? that are close to pantaloons. Now I'm going to have to go look that up too. You learn so much stuff while playing Munchkin, guys. Candle burning at both ends, which is never something you want to do. It just ruins your candle. <laughs> we have the Globe, which is a lovely theater. <laughs> and it's like knocking that little minion over the head. We have the iambic thermometer. <laughs> That's fantastic. Instead of your iambic pentameter. <laughs> oh, the cards in this are very cute. Oxfords, which are some little shoes here. We have another, oh, we have a stake spear. So we have a gable hood and then the stake spear. A foul, pestilent congregation of vapors. What a piece of work man is. Or is man. That sounds rough. Yeah, that's rough too. That's just insulting all of humanity right there. See? 
if you didn't want to check out Munchkin, you can you can at least check out all the sick burns that we're talking about. <laughs> Painting loons. There we go. Okay, painting loons, pantaloons. Got it. In Arizona, we don't really have like this thing called wildlife, except like during the night when you can't see it because <laughs> it's so hot out. <laughs> yeah, so I am not a like, I don't know about ducks and birds and stuff like that. Like we have like, one type that lives here pretty much. Maybe you might find like another few small little songbirds, but everything's tan so like we don't have anything that's like exciting looking this is a cute set though i really like the shakespearean theme i enjoy if you play shakespeare munchkin you have to do the shakespearean sick burns during play it's like mandatory if you're playing with me now <laughs> you better bring your phone you better be ready <laughs> you get your sick card here, your treasure card for Munchkin Panic in there. We're also going to take a look at the website. Let's take a look at the website here. So the dice and stuff like that are super awesome. Oh, by the way, this is like about 30 bucks on Warehouse 23. So for PAX East, which is coming up, we have... What, they're going to be featuring Car Wars, the new Car Wars edition, which is amazing. I really, really liked the fact that they have, like, steering wheels and stuff. So, yeah. So, they have steering wheels and stuff in the Car Wars game. And that's how you're actually going to be tracking everything. So, you're going to get to see that this year. I know they're going to be at Origins. We're going to be at Gen Con. But PAX East is, is just the next convention that's coming up. There's also going to be Fnord Con, of course, which I'm also going to be a guest at. Super excited. So, if you guys are going to Fnord Con, make sure and give me a heads up and stuff. We'll sit down. We'll play some games. It'll be fantastic. Yes, Eric, if you are playing the Munchkin version of Shakespeare here, Play it with legends. It'll be fantastic. I 100% agree. The themes go together super well on that. We have, so they're going to be featuring Car Wars. They're going to be featuring the, wow, Melee and Wizard versions of Fantasy Trip. There we go. They're probably, they're prob I imagine they're probably going to have like Munchkin Warhammer there and stuff like that to play. Just if you're like hanging out with the Mibs and stuff. And playing games and everything. I wish I knew what sort of tournaments were going on. I don't know if they've planned that far in advance for tournaments and stuff. Aren't you a bird expert after all those plays of Wingspan? <laughs> Can't talk about Wingspan on here, okay? <laughs> you, I guess, you know what? I have been playing a lot of that. so, But I'm not an expert for birds just yet. Haven't played Car Wars since the 1988. So they're redoing Car Wars. It, they're streamlining some of the rules and stuff and fixing some of the issues that they had with those and making it a little bit easier to play. I liked the boards that they had in front of them. It's very easy to keep track of everything. They have range rulers you're using for the cars and stuff that uh, you end up throwing out that's very easy. It just it makes gameplay so easy, you know? And I think if you don't update your games in at this time, you know, when there's so many games that are so streamlined and so easy to play and stuff like that, then you're just going to fall behind. So I know some people were upset by the fact that they've changed some of the rules in Car Wars and everything, but it was needed, guys. Like... If you're not going to streamline your games, people just aren't going to play them. And that's what they found was, although there was a great following for Car Wars and it's a fantastic game. I mean, who wouldn't want to be racing cars around around and like smashing each other up with like rockets and like all sorts of stuff? Like, well, who would not want to do that? It's like a battle arena, f you know, for cars. But having all the little technical issues and stuff like that or having like just making it harder to play because you need to re-review a sheet or something like that like that's just not where games are going guys I mean if you need to re-review something you're gonna have like a little card anymore like this that you can just take a look at that and then play the game right so I'm super excited about seeing how everybody really likes Car Wars I got to see it a little bit last year 
I didn't get to do like a full play or anything of it, but I got to sit, sit down and watch people play it and look at all the stuff and everything for it. It looks super exciting. So make sure to check them out at PAX East. Okay, that's coming up. And again, FNORDCON tickets are only about like 40 bucks. It's in Austin, Texas. So if you're interested in going to that, I would totally go. The great thing, I've talked a little bit about this. The great thing about small conventions is the fact that in a small convention, you get one-on-one -on -one time with people, guys. So if you want to talk to Andrew Hackard while he's there, guess what? You're going to have time to talk to him, <laughs> you know? It's limited to, I think, like 250 people or something like that. So it's going to be like a really intimate engagement where if you want to talk to somebody, you're going to get to talk to somebody. And the there's going to be a gentleman from Ogre there that's going to be doing that stuff. They're going to have Fantasy Trip up. They're going to be doing that. I believe Steve Jackson's going to be there. Andrew's going to be there. I don't think John is coming or anything like that, like the artist. But I will be there to play games with. And I'm sure they're going to have lots of cool stuff on site, too to play, you know, and to show you guys. So make sure to get tickets for that. Only $40, especially if you're in the area. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I had so much fun hanging out with you. And opening this set, we have tons of other stuff that we're going to go through. I have a box of Ogre uh, Battle, a Ogre Battle Box, which has all the of the little miniatures for Ogre in it. Oh, that's the other thing they're going to be showing off is Ogre. Sixth edition and stuff with that. But I'm really excited to see what the minis look like, like in my hand, in person. We're going to be taking a look at that, I believe, Tuesday next week. And what else are we going to be doing? I, I got like a whole bunch of Munchkin stuff in. So <laughs> I'm really excited to opening everything up. We got Ninja Burger into. We have the Car Wars, the card game that we're going to go over and stuff. So stay tuned on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 3 p.m. live streams. Other than that, I will see you guys all next week on Tuesday. Now that the time changes happen, I'm not going to be a super noob about it, <laughs> and we can hang out, okay? Other than that, I will see you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching.